A scalar in linear algebra is just a single number, similar to ones you've encountered in algebra. They are so called, because in linear algebra, they are primarily used for scaling other mathematical objects like vectors. But, more about this later, when we are already familiar with those other objects. A vector is a one-dimensional array of numbers. In case we have a vector composed of n real numbers, we would denote it as r, superscript 10, as shown on the slide. Similarly, if we had a vector composed of three natural numbers, we would denote it as n, superscript 3, as on the slide. Below you can see a an example of a vector with three natural numbers. We can identify each individual element of the vector by writing the vector's name in the italic typeface, with the subscript. For example, x subscript 1 is 5, x subscript 2 is 4, and x subscript 3 is 3. A matrix is a two-dimensional array of numbers. A real valued matrix, with n rows, and n columns, is denoted as, r, superscript, and times m. On the slide, you can see the example of a 2 by 2 matrix, A. Identifying individual elements of the matrix is similar to that of a vector, but we have to use two indices, since matrix has two dimensions. For example, A with a subscript, 1, 1, corresponds to 3. Similarly, A with a subscript, 1, 2, is 4. If we want to identify the entire row or the column, we can use a colon. In the example at the bottom of the slide we use the colon left to the comma in the subscript. This means that we are targeting all the rows of the first column. Tensor is an array of numbers arranged on a regular grid with a variable number of dimensions. Tensor can have zero dimensions and be treated as a scalar. It can have one dimension and be treated as a vector. Two-dimensional tensor can be treated as a matrix. It can also have any higher number of dimensions. Matrix transpose is an operation which flips the matrix across its diagonal line. Consider a matrix. A. Let's add a diagonal to this matrix as shown in the middle of the slide. If we flip the matrix across this diagonal, we will obtain the rightmost matrix. This is the transpose of A. As we can see, the transpose of a matrix is denoted by adding a superscript capital T. We can also obtain the transpose by switching the row and column indices of the matrix. For example, in the matrix, A. The number 3 is in the second row of the first column, after transpose, it ends up in the first row of the second column. So, the element has switched its row and a column. The same is true for every other element of this matrix.